welcome back to stylish niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers i really appreciate you guys a lot for subscribing to my channel so if you are new to my channel and you have not subscribed already i would appreciate if you would uh, subscribe and then uh, hit that notification bell just to get an update whenever i load a new um, video so guys today i'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew a box and pleat skirt or a kiss pleat skirt so that's really what i'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew today it's really simple and easy so and uh, the measurement i'm going to be making use of today the waist i'm actually going to be using and uh, 30 inches that's the waist measurement is 30 inches and then i'll add uh, two inches for allowance so the amount of fabric that i'm going to be cutting out so i'm going to be cutting out and since the waist is um 30 inches i'm going to be cutting out and i'll time it by two so I'm, I'm going to have 70 uh, 60 inches and then i'll add 10 inches to it so you can decide to do double you can decide to do triple so you can cut it and you can divide it into and three, you can time it into three parts and then you get 90 that is going to be a very full and skirt so but for this i'm going to be timesing it i will multiply it into two that's i'll have 60 inches and then i'll add extra 10 inches so the long and strap of my fabric what i actually have here that's from this end to the other this is uh 70 inches plus two inches for my zipper allowance i'm going to be making use of this elastic band for this and skirt so this is what i'm going to use for the waist and line part but i'm still going to add a zipper to it so the fabric that i have here this is actually a two yards of fabric and it is a very deep and length of fabric so i had to cut out a part of it so this is just like the length that i need now so this is the length that i need to make uh, my skirt which is about uh, 30 inches that's the the length that i need So it's about 30 inches. That's the length. And then the width, like I said, the width. I'm using 30 inches also for the width. That's after pleating. My skirt and waist should come to 30 inches. So I'm really going to show you how to do this in a very fast and quick way. So what we're going to do, I'm going to divide my fabric into four and portion. And then I'm going to mark how many inches apart I'm going to uh, pleat. So here is my so here is my uh, skirt that sorry here is my fabric so i'll just put a notch here at the center so this is like the center so i'll put a notch and then i'm going to still unfold it i'm going to put a notch on the side also so i'm just still going to fold it like this and then i'll get the side the side side of my skirt and then i'm going to put a notch here also so that's just about that and then i'm going to open this up now and then i'm going to start um pleating so this is the center of my of my fabric this is the center so i made this line here so from this um, point now what i'm going to do i'm going to measure so i'm trying to create a box on the center of my skirt so you can decide if you want a kiss split on the center or you can decide if you want a box but i actually want a box on the center so from this line i'm going to measure out five inches to this and right hand side and then i'll measure the same five inches to this and left hand side like this so i'll just unfold it like this i'll bring it to this five inches point that i made on the side of the center I'll bring it like this and then i'm trying to make sure that it is running from up from the up to the down i'm going to check it out before I, I pin it and then i'm going to take this other one like this and then i'll flip it back to the other side so you see what i have now i actually have a box and plate at the center so i'm just trying to make sure that it is sitting properly so here here they are sitting properly in order for me to have the first and um, box so is this a first box that i will use as guide to to pleat out the other um plates so i'm going to pin it up and down so i've gotten the first um plate now 
So I'm just going to continue like this. So from this uh, next point now, so what I'm basically trying to do, I'm going to to pleat my um skirt, let my the waist and line, let it come to 30 inches and plus my two inches allowance for my zipper. So from this point, now I'm going to measure out another five inches like this, and then I'm going to take it. You can decide to measure it both up and down, so it depends on what you want. So from this point like this, I'm just going to take it like this and then I'll bring it to this point. So that's the point. I'll bring it. So you see this side now, this side, it is kissed on this side. So because and this and fabric is a stretchy fabric, so it's a little bit and difficult. But if you are using a fabric that is not stretchy, it will be perfect. So I'm just going to pin it now. And then I'll pin it down also. And then from this point now, I'm going to measure out the, the other one. And then from this point like this, I'm just going to take it like this. And then I'll flip it to this side. So you see what I have now. I'm just going to keep doing that. So you see the inches of our skirt apart. They are the same. I'm just going to pin this. I'll continue again to this side. And then from this side, this one is coming to this side now. So once you kiss, you box, you pick, kiss, you box. So this one now is coming, is going to kiss now on this side. So I'm going to pin it also. So I'm just going to continue the process like that until I'm done with this side and then done with the other side. So at the end of the day, what I'm going to have here when I'm done, I'm I should have about 16 inches on this side and then 16 inches on the other side okay so guys so you see i finished and pleating it so here is what i'm going to do now i'm just going it's, like i said it's really simple and easy i'm just going to measure out and my waist and measurement so this um elastic that i have is actually 36 inches so i'm going to measure my waist and measurement so i'm just going to uh, put my elastic like this and then i'm going to stitch i'm not um lining this because you could see the fabric is really bulky so i'm just going to run a straight stitch on it so after running the stitch on it it's going it's going to come like this so the elastic is going to be on top like this and then after that i'm going to join it from the top down uh, that's from the side i'm going to just uh, hold it together like this and then i'll join the seams down with my zipper allowance so after joining i'm going to now open up the allowance part that's the zipper allowance part and then fix my zip on it so it's really simple and then i'll hem the down part of my of my skirt so because i have pinned so like you could say i could flip it however i want to flip it because it's pinned up and down so i really don't have any problem so i'm just going to go and start stitching it now okay so guys so i'm going to start and st stitching now so you can decide to do this in two ways you can decide to secure it first which will be easier for it you just and um, with a stitch and then before you sew your band on it so i think i will secure it first that will help me to be able to arrange everything properly okay so you see i finished and securing it so now i can take off my pins now so the next thing i'm going to do now so i'm not i'm not showing the down part so the down part is still the, with the pins i'm not going to be stitching it so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to um, put my elastic and band on it so this was what i was actually saying yesterday so you could see this is like a bigger um, band so it depends on the one you want in the market so this is a little bit bigger so you can just get different types so i'm just going to look for the side that is a little bit stretchy and then i'm going to be placing it like this i'm just going to follow that same uh, stitch that i made before just to secure the band okay so you see i finished uh, stitching my elastic on it 
so you see my pleats so once i'm done that's when i'm going to iron so like i said if uh, this was a, a a stronger um fabric you see all of them looking so st and strong but this is just like a soft and scuba but it's still okay so at the end of the day see the plates are showing so what you are just going to do now you are just going to hold it but if you are going to be lining if you want to line this skirt here is what you are going to do if you want to line it after cutting out your lining which is going to be the same um, um amount with this all you are going to do you are going to put the lining on this part like this and then you are going to stitch and then it covers this point part so what i mean is your elastic will be here in the middle and then the lining will be here and then you stitch all of them together and then you drop it to the side as in to the down so it covers up everything but this one is bulky enough for me so i'm not lining it so i'm just going to use uh, my waist and measurements now i'm going to measure my the waist and measurements and then i'm going to close it along that line down So you know I have allowance on it, so that's what, one, what I'm just trying to do. So I'm just going to run a loose and stitch on it until when I get to and the zipper and the part where I'm going to be attaching my zipper. So for the zip, I'm just going to use, I'm going to take it to about um, 7 inches or 8 inches. So it depends on how, how long you want your zipper to be. So you make sure that both elastic, they are on top of each other as that's they are on the same line that one is not like this and the other one like this so you just run it straight so i'm just going to finish that or fix my zipper and then place on the mannequin for you to see So I'm going to start fixing uh, my zipper now. So I'm just trying to cut out all of the, uh, the thread. So this is how you fix it. So you are just going to use your zipper allowance and uh, parts like this, and then you are going to fix just the regular uh, way you fix your zipper. So I'm going to be covering it up. So I'm not going to be doing the invisible one. I'm going to be doing the closing and zipper. So I'm just going to take it like this. So I'm trying to so it will not be too long because this is is a long one. So I'm just trying to adjust adjust it. I'm going to cut out the excess on some done. So I'll just place it like this and then I'm going to stitch it on top like this. So it covers and then the other part will cover the other one also. So guys so here's what i have so once i'm done i'm just going to use my uh, pressing iron to and uh, just give it a good iron download so the next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to adjust at uh, the top part of my uh, zipper to check it if it's if it will go through so it came through so i cut out the excess And then I'm going to fold it in and just give it a top, a good top stitch here, just to secure on the top so it doesn't run out. So you see, it's properly secured. Because this is a stretchy fabric, you know the. The regular and problem that are so you see what I have. So this part I'm still going to tuck it in a little bit. So the zipper is still coming out. So I still need to um, place it properly and then I will secure it and more. So guys, so this is our skirt. So this is our skirt. So if you if you are doing this with an Ankara, you have um, better results that's of the pleats. But since this is a scuba, I don't have any problem. It's the top part that that's what matters. And so guys, so I've come to the end of this um, video illustration. If you find this um, video helpful, 
I would appreciate if you would give it a thumbs up and then subscribe subscribe if you have not done so share my video with your friends and loved ones so thank you so much i'll see you guys in the next video ciao